Good morning. So I'm going to talk about our experience on the evolution of Barrett's esophagus after Ruan Y gastric bypass. We have no, nothing to disclose. Barrett's esophagus is recognized as a pre-malignant lesion for esophageal adenocarcinoma. It appears as a consequence of gastroesophageal reflux disease, which is increased among obese population. Laparoscopic Ruan Y gastric bypass is the best treatment option for obesity combined with GERD. However, data on evolution of Barrett's esophagus after gastric bypass are scarce. The aim of our study was to evaluate the evolution of Barrett's esophagus after Ruan Y gastric bypass. This was a retrospective study from a prospectively collected database. Bariatric surgery candidates underwent upper GI series, esophagogastroduenoscopy, gastric biopsy, Esophageal biopsies only if Barrett's esophagus was suspected. If Barrett's esophagus was confirmed, the gast gastric bypass was indicated. Patients with Barrett's esophagus post-gastric bypass follow a surveillance program that consisted of EGD with multiple biopsies annually. Data analyzed were patients' demographics, preoperative data, and postoperative outcomes. Barrett's esophagus was defined by the presence of intestinal metaplasia with goblet cells on esophageal biopsies. Then it was classified as follows, no dysplasia, low-grade dysplasia, high-grade dysplasia, indefinite for dysplasia. Regression was defined as conversion from intestinal metaplasia to squamous epithelium or conversion from dysplasia to metaplasia. Endoscopically, Barrett's esophagus was classified as follows. Short segment Barrett's esophagus if the length was less than 3 cm, and long segment Barrett's esophagus if it was 3 cm or more. Between October 2007 and January 2016, 2,144 patients underwent bariatric surgery at our institution. Barrett's esophagus was diagnosed in 19 patients. All of them underwent gastric bypass. 11 patients were included in the study. 50% of them were women. Age was 49, initial BMI was 44. At 41 month follow-up, percentage excess weight loss was 55. So upper GI series demonstrated 27% 20, of patients had a small hiatal hernia. EGD showed Barrett's esophagus in all cases. Nine patients had short segment Barrett's esophagus and two patients long segment Barrett's esophagus. The preoperative pathology also showed Barrett's esophagus in all cases. Ten patients had known dysplasia and one patient was indefinite for dysplasia. The EGD post op showed Barrett's esophagus in all cases. However, the length decreased from 2.1 cm to 1.2 cm. This difference was not statistically significant. Postoperative pathology showed remission in four cases, giving a 36% of cases. Of these four cases, three patients had short segment Barrett's esophagus and one patient had long segment Barrett's esophagus. This difference was not statistically significant. The patient that was indefinite for dysplasia remained the same. In this slide, we can see the specific evolution of each patient. In this column, we can see the comparison of the Barrett length in the pre-op EGD and the post-op EGD. As you can see, seven patients had decrease in length of the Barrett's esophagus. Of them, six had short segment Barrett's esophagus and one had long segment Barrett's esophagus. In this column, we can see the comparison between the pathology report pre-op and post-op. We can see that four patients had regression of their disease. Of them, three had short segment Barrett's esophagus and one has long segment Barrett's esophagus. In conclusion, our preliminary results showed that laparoscopic Ruan Y gastric bypass is a suitable treatment option for obese patients with Barrett's esophagus demonstrated by a 36% regression rate of this premalignant disease. Although Barrett's esophagus persisted in the remaining patients, 
no progression to dysplasia was observed. Patients with short-segment Barrett's esophagus seem to have more chances of regression than those with long-segment Barrett's esophagus, although the difference was not statistically significant. Thank you. Thank you.